Why, hello there, everyone! Welcome to the final day in my countdown to Modern Warfare 3. My name is Rock, and it is good to have you here for this last video in the series. It's been a long one. Hard to believe this is the 30th video in 30 days, counting down to midnight release. That's right, tonight at 12.01 a.m. It'll officially be Tuesday, November the 8th, and then you can actually pick up the game at midnight release starting here on the East Coast. And uh, I'm not really sure exactly how this pans out across the rest of the world. Uh, I've heard several things. It looks like maybe people in Europe have to wait an extra three days. Is that for real? Is that true? That is absolutely shitty as hell. And I feel so sorry for my European friends over there on the other part of the world, uh, Australia and, and, and everyone else. Uh, I don't know if, if that's true or not. You can let me know in the comments below, but I feel really bad for you guys having to wait extra time if that is the case. But think about it this way. There are a lot of people that actually have the game way before the rest of us. They've had it for about three or four days now. Uh, there was a mass leak rolling all across the country. Uh, I know Kmart was really at fault in breaking street date in a lot of areas. And uh, who knows by time this video has released... There may be some more street dates broken, and uh, I don't know. I've not acti actively pursued trying to get an early copy of the game. Uh, you know, I figured, hey, I'm going to be getting the hardened edition, you know, from Activision for attending COD XP, and I'm happy with that. Uh, I will probably get uh, a, a copy on midnight release tonight. Depending on not whether or not uh, my actual hardened edition copy showed up today early, and uh, that would be a nice thing. I will be sure to tweet about it if it happens, but you never know. Maybe it'll show up a day early. A lot of people, I think, are hoping that. I know Michael Condrey, I think it was, from Sledgehammer, was quoted as saying that they might try to get them out so that they arrive on the 7th, and I think that would be absolutely cool if they do that, but if they don't, it's okay, too. I am a pretty patient person. Patience is normally a virtue, but I'm ready to play this game. I've seen a lot of people playing it. I've seen lots of video from it. I watched this stream from IGN that I've talked about several times now, and it just makes me want to get on it and play it because it looks so fun and fast-paced. That is the biggest thing I can tell you about Modern Warfare 3 is it's going to have a faster pace to it, and it's going to go back to the pacing of Modern Warfare 2 here. It's, uh, it's going to be a lot more action, I think. I think that's the biggest complaint a lot of people had with Black Ops was that it was, it was kind of boring. And I, I can understand where that statement comes from. I definitely do. Wow, Jenkins got a nice little triple nade there. Uh, it's, it's definitely a different type of game. And I think a lot of that has to do with the hit detection. Black Ops, at least my experience with Black Ops, horrible horrible hit detection you would be hitting somebody for days and all you'd get would be little hit markers popping up whereas when you play a game like modern warfare 2 here uh let's see am i going to shoot somebody in the next few seconds here it'd be nice if i could that would kind of give you a really good example here as i'm hopping from rooftop to rooftop defending keeping them from planting but they do anyway <laughs> uh you know in modern warfare 2 you definitely had much, much better hit detection. And when I played Modern Warfare 3 at COD XP, that was one thing I really liked about it was excellent hit detection. When you shot somebody, they died. And that's probably the most frustrating thing I have against any game, not just Call of Duty, but any shooter title is bad hit detection. I can't stand it when I know I am hitting someone and they should be dead. You know, when you have gun on gun gameplay you want to have you know your target die when you're hitting them not just hit them a bunch of times and then get shot in return and then die but uh up in the chopper gunner here there's the old nuke and we're going to finish off this countdown the exact same way we started it and that is with a tactical nuke uh no no moab here i had to get all these with the help of kill streaks uh i'm looking forward to trying for the moab though if if people drop like i think they should I'm hoping I can get a Moab or two out of Modern Warfare 3 because, you know, when I played at COD XP in L.A., the hit detection was really nice. I like the fact that people dropped really quick, and I'm hoping that that's going to be the case here. 
Unfortunately, though, we gotta wait till midnight. Or actually, I guess once you get the game and get home, it's about 12.15, 12.20, 12.30 at the latest. So, we'll be online, the rest of us, that is, that didn't get the game early. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but it's driving me nuts to see some of these other YouTube commentators talking about the game on Twitter. I'm trying to ignore it. And then there's this part of me saying, damn, Paul, why didn't you try to get the game early, too? But... That's okay, we'll all get our turn coming up really soon. And uh, l let me know what you think about this double XP thing with uh, with Mountain Dew and Doritos. I I'm sure it's probably only here in North America. It's possible it could be worldwide, I don't know. I think it's just a promotion here in North America. But uh, if you buy specially marked packages of Mountain Dew and Doritos, you can get double XP for Modern Warfare 3. Um, what do you guys think about that? Do you think this is something we're going to see in the future for other Call of Duty titles as well as other game titles? Or do you think this is just maybe a one-time thing? Maybe this is just their testing waters to see how this really is going to pan out. I'm pretty sure they did this once before in Halo. Uh, maybe Halo Reach. But I can't remember for sure what it was actually for. Um... Do you agree with this? Do you think this is something that is just going a little too far? Where people are just going out and buying, you know, cases of soda for strictly the double XP. Uh, I have to admit, I bought a couple myself. And that's just because I know I'll drink some of it and the kids will drink some. And, and you know, it'll get drank up. It's not like it's going to go to waste. But there are guys on the website where you go log in your double XP codes that already have over... 300 hours of double XP and that's just that's just absolutely ludicrous that someone would have you know that amount of XP I don't even think it would take 300 hours to go through all prestiges I don't know what it would take what would it take 24 times 10 about 240 hours roughly or less I would think would be what it would take to go through all 10 prestiges that's just a ballpark number off the top of my head. That's averaging 24 hours per prestige at 10 prestiges. It may be far less than that. I think uh, in Black Ops, I was able to prestige in about 11 to 14 hours per prestige, something like that. So, uh, I don't know. What do you guys think, though, about these double XP promotions? Let me know in the comments below. But we're coming to an end for this one here. And that means we're coming to an end for this countdown series. That's it. 30 videos in 30 days. The countdown to Modern Warfare 3 is finished. And we're going to end it off with a bang just like we started it. And uh, just like we ended off last year's countdown series with a tactical nuke. I hope you enjoyed this entire series. I appreciate your support so much in watching all of these videos. I'm going to finish this one off at 42 and 2. And I look forward to bringing you my very first gameplay in Modern Warfare 3. Maybe we'll try for a Moab. All right, guys. I appreciate you watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Be safe out there tonight, and enjoy Modern Warfare 3.